Hey, this is Justin from breakintocre.com and in today's video, we're gonna talk about three specific finance concepts that you should know before heading into a commercial real estate interview. So if you have a commercial real estate interview coming up or you're just trying to prepare for the next interview that you go on, make sure to stick around for this video. Now, if you're new here on this channel, we talk about real estate investing careers and real estate finance. So if you're looking to break into the industry or advance your real estate investing career, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So aside from Excel exams, where you're actually being tested on your technical knowledge, most commercial real estate interviews are going to be more of a test of your personality and how you would fit into that firm. But in some scenarios, you will be asked technical questions on the fly. And what I wanted to do was break down some of those technical questions that you might be asked and how you might answer those questions. So the first technical concept that you should know is the capitalization or cap rate. Now, this is one of the most basic and fundamental calculations in commercial real estate finance. And you may be asked a very simple question around this. So to calculate what the cap rate is, you'll just take that net operating income divided by the property value. So one question that you might be asked in an interview is something along the lines of what happens to property values if cap rates increase and what happens to property values if cap rates decrease? Well, if a property value can be calculated by the net operating income of the property divided by the cap rate, then we know that if cap rates increase, the property value decreases. And if cap rates decrease, the property value increases. And an answer like that will likely be all that the interviewer is looking for. They just want to make sure that you understand that concept. Now, the next few metrics that you're going to want to know, I've actually bunched into one specific category because these are all return metrics that you're going to want to know and use in a real estate financial analysis. So the first is going to be your internal rate of return or IRR. Now, most employers aren't going to expect you to be able to calculate this by hand, but what they are going to expect of you is to know what the IRR is. So if you're asked to explain the internal rate of return or IRR, you can respond saying something along the lines of the internal rate of return is an annualized time-weighted return that investors can use to compare the real estate investment to other potential investment vehicles like stocks, bonds, and other private equity investments. So from there, they may ask you a question about the equity multiple. And the equity multiple is exactly what it sounds like. It's a multiplication of your equity investment in the deal. So if you invested $100,000 in a deal and you got $200,000 back in aggregate over the entire life of the investment, your equity multiple would be 2.0. So again, a sample interview question on this might be something along the lines of, if you'd received $240,000 over a five year period and you invested $80,000 in the deal, what is your equity multiple? And in that case, it would be 3.0. And finally, the last return metric is the cash on cash return. And the cash on cash return is just an annual net cash flow number divided by your equity invested in the deal. So if you have a year where you earn $80,000 and you've invested $1 million of equity, then that means your cash on cash return for that year would be 8%. Now, another reason why I put all of these together is because you may be asked questions about these topics together. For example, I've heard of trick questions being asked, like if you have an 18% IRR on your deal, what is your equity multiple? Well, in that case, you don't have enough information to answer that question. So just saying that you don't have enough information to calculate that is a sufficient answer and that would be correct. Now, the final concept I'd recommend knowing is how an equity waterfall structure works. Now, I've made a video on that in the past and I'll link that in the description below, but essentially a waterfall structure is a cash flow split mechanism that splits cash flows to the general partner on the deal and the limited partner on the deal in proportion to their equity percentages and incorporates certain preferred return and hurdle rates that determine that cash flow split as certain returns are hit on the investment. So a question that you might get on this might be something along the lines of walk me through a waterfall structure and you could explain that waterfall structure exactly like I just did. Or again, check out that waterfall video for some additional detail on how you can explain that. Now, in my experience, in most general interview settings, you're not really going to be asked technical questions, but if you are, those would be some of the most common questions that you might be asked just to test your general understanding of real estate finance. 
Now in real estate, oftentimes when you get through this general interview process, you'll also be given an Excel technical interview exam. So if you think you may be taking one of those exams to finish up that interview process and you want to be prepared for exam day, I have a course that I built to prepare you for that interview exam. So I'll link that in the description below. It's called the Real Estate Financial Modeling Interview Exam Guide, and that's gonna take you through five different exams and over 100 possible questions that you might be asked on interview day to prepare you for an Excel interview exam. And if you're in the application and interview process and you're going all in on landing a new or your first commercial real estate job, check out Break Into CRE Academy as well. That's gonna include a full suite of courses on real estate financial modeling, real estate deal analysis, and really the things that you need to know to break into commercial real estate for the first time or to advance your current real estate investing career. Now, if you like this video on interview topics and want to see more content like this, let me know by hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel and share this with anyone else who might find this helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.